hey guys welcome back to my channel so moving on this video is going to be a hair install video and is a collaboration with arabella and i'm going to show you guys what comes in the box it comes with this purse and what you get in the purse is a pair of lashes these lashes are so beautiful guys look at it and then you get a wig cap which is not really my skin tone but then it was better than the one i was using and then we have this headband that you can use to like lay down your wig and the best thing i got was that brush and then some hair clips now i'm going to be changing this wig cap because it looks kind of white on me guys don't judge me <laughs> and then i'll be putting this one that is closer to my skin tone on my head and yeah this is just to help my braids to like stay better on my head you guys look at my old edges brush like it literally broke and then i fixed it with glue i don't know if you guys can see it properly but then i'm so happy i got a new one but until this one is dead we won't start using that one <laughs> yeah so um i'm just going to lay down my edges with <coughs> some got to be glued and then this is the wig i already customized it i did not bleach the knots i just used like a wig tint or rather a lace tint it's a straight hair it came as straight hair but you guys are going to see in the end we're going to this hair is actually really versatile you can wear it as straight hair as curly hair you guys are going to see all of that or rather body wave hair it comes with two headbands one that is adjustable and then a um this bandage one and then it comes with hair clips too now i'm just putting this on my head if the wig cap is not your um skin complexion you can just use foundation i didn't do the bald cap method because this wasn't going to be a permanent install now i'm just cutting off the excess lace just so it doesn't like clean off my eyebrows and yeah this is just going to make everything easier and i'm also going to be keeping all the hair out of the way by using this butterfly clips now this was where i made a mistake you guys before you put glue or anything or gel on your head make sure you clean off the makeup especially when you have makeup on but you guys i don't even know what came over me that day and i didn't take off the makeup but yeah that kind of turned out bad but then next time i know better i always do my installs before my makeup or at least clean my makeup off because like the glue isn't going to stay properly if you do not um clean off the makeup it's going to look kind of messy because glue makes the makeup is just like a disaster so yeah moving on that's one thing i know not to do next time you guys i always clean my makeup i don't even know what came over me anyway i decided to go for like middle part and i didn't pluck the middle part so i'm going to be using foundation instead a foundation that is my skin tone and i'm going to be using that to like define my parts more and i'm using this wax stick just to lay my um, any flyaways just in case i have any flyaways and this will just help it to look more defined kinda and yes and i used the um, band that came with the um hair the one that came in the box that you guys saw earlier on to just lay my hair and just make it to stay better it wasn't really successful because like i said i didn't clean up my foundation now i'm going to be removing that normally it's, it's supposed to look seamless but just because my foundation mixed with my glue it wasn't as seamless as i wanted it to be and you guys you always want to make sure that this is completely dry before you start cutting so now i'm just going to cut off the excess lace and you want to cut as close to the hair as possible but don't cut the hair but then you just want to cut as close to the hair as possible and yeah i think i sped up this part because i was really slow i was actually very very slow because you honestly want to take your time properly to do this and yeah after that this is what it was looking like you guys it's supposed to look more seamless but just because i didn't clean off my foundation and because my foundation mixed with the glue or the gel like i said that it was the result that little like brown tint you're seeing so it wasn't bad the install was not bad but then it could have been better so now i'm just using a hot comb and this is just going to make it look there's just this look the hot comb gives i know it's kind of more realistic and it looks more natural i don't know if that's what it is but then the hair isn't just standing and looking like a wig wig 
and yeah i tied it again because i added some god to be spray i didn't add that part but then yeah i added some god to be spray because that one dries faster and now i'm just hot combing the hair if they were like that <laughs> yeah so i attempted to get layers but then honestly this was very unsuccessful so i was just going to speed up this part and act like it never happened but then it wasn't bad like it actually came in handy or it looked better when i curled the hair which you guys are going to see I'm going to leave all the links to this hair in the description box below in case you want to get you some and I also have a discount code that you guys can use to get some money off because honestly <laughs> who doesn't want some money off and I highly recommend this hair I didn't experience any form of shedding it was very very soft and it was a transparent lace yeah so I got the transparent I got the lace to look a bit like my skin tone using a lace tint you can also use a foundation for this it doesn't have to be a lace tint you can use your foundation that is your shade to you know tint the lace because it was a transparent lace and it didn't really look transparent on my skin tone so yeah it was kind of, it was kind of looking white which didn't really sit well with me and yeah now I'm just taking it off and this is what my install looks like like I said, it would have looked better if I didn't just have this foundation mixture in front. But then it wasn't bad, honestly. It wasn't that bad. When I cleaned up my makeup, I, I just used like a makeup remover to clean that part off. And I was good, honestly. So now I'm just going to be taking out some little hair to make some baby hairs. Um, I'm not the best at making baby hairs. But at the same time, I don't really like my hair looking like just straight up plain. But honestly, that's way easier for me. So sometimes I just do that because making baby hairs is not the easiest for me. But I feel like making baby hairs kind of helps to like um, cover any mistakes you make while installing your lace. Honestly, that's what it does for me. And yeah, I'm just going to be using my got to be gel, <laughs> the same gel I used to lay my edges to make my baby hairs it was also not extremely hard to be honest and making baby hairs with makeup on is not the best so i think i would really advise to um install your weed before your makeup yeah so this is what the hair looks like while i'm hot combing it it looks better at this point and this is the finished look for the straight hair you guys can see how soft this hair looks and it was really nice this is the only wig you need in 2021 guys it is very versatile you can wear it as straight hair as body wave you, which you guys are going to see very very soon and i think it looks good on me so this was the next day or two days later i can't remember when i decided to try it as body wave i curled it off camera and it looks pretty good too so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye Ra, 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 ra,